Well, I love the high-def camcorder in my iPhone 4S, but here in Arizona, sometimes the sun's so bright, there's just no way to use it. I can't even see the screen, so I got to looking around, figuring out what can I do about that, and there I spotted it. It was a Maxwell House two-pound coffee container, and it looked like it just might do the trick. After a bit of thinking, I saw that the handle seemed like it worked best if it was up and to the left, so that's the way I laid it out. The first thing I did was to lay the iPhone in the bottom of the container with the screen side facing me. I shined a light on the inside of the container which made a shadow on the outline of the iPhone and I was able to make an ink dot approximately one half inch each side from the corner of the iPhone for the camera opening. The opening was then trimmed for a better fit around the camera lens. I needed to remove a slot on the side of the container that would allow my fingers to access the touch screen. The material marked in the X in the oval shape was then removed. Save that piece of material because we're going to take the scissors and we're going to trim the ends and use that piece in the next step. Next, I laid the iPhone back in the container and temporarily put the piece from the previous step in position to trim the link so that it just extends from the end of the container to cover the very edge of the iPhone as shown in the picture. After removing the iPhone, the piece is laid back in the container in the exact same position it was when it was cut to length. One way to fasten the two pieces together is simply to use the tip of a hot soldering iron to push through both pieces, which will effectively form a plastic weld. The phone can be loaded in position simply by placing it in the slot while with the other hand holding up on the retaining bar and after insertion simply lower it back on the edge of the phone. This view shows the phone in position held in place by the securing bar in relationship to the slot for your fingers and also the handle which is noted on the top left hand side. Finally, a coat of flat black paint designed for plastics can be used on the inside and outside to reduce glare. 